Here go. My name is Beverly Sanders, and today is Monday, September 19th, 2016. I'm visiting today with Jean Holland at her home in Norman, Oklahoma. Joe Sanders will be assisting with the recording equipment and sometimes adding a question. Do you want to go ahead and introduce Jean? All right. Hand over to her. Okay. okay. Also today, we have with us her son, Richard Holland, who will be here uh, if we need to refer to him for a little clarification or verification of something that we aren't sure of. And we may refer some questions to, to Richard. We also have Jan Jones, who is, a, is Jean's daughter, and she may also be giving us some added information as needed. Back to me. This interview is for the historical records of McFarland United Methodist Church, as well as the Voices of Oklahoma United Methodism project of the Oklahoma Conference of Oral History Research Pro Program. This research program is coordinated through the Commission on Archives and History with the support of the Oklahoma United Methodist Historical Society. Jean, I can't tell you just how much how excited I am that we discovered you and what a wealth of information you have for us. I appreciate your making time for us and your busy schedule today to sit down and talk with us. And I know that you have a lot of stories to tell me, so I'm going to just ask you kind of a question or two and let you talk, and then we'll move along uh, to a few different questions. Uh, you were starting to tell me about where you were born and where you had your childhood and, and when you first got into Norman. But go ahead and tell me about your childhood first. Well. Uh, I was born on my grandparents' farm in Tuttle, Oklahoma, and then we moved across the river that had been Indian Territory at one time. My mother was born there. Okay, uh, my, my education started at Goldsby Grade School in the country. And in the fifth grade, I moved to Norman and with my grandparents and my parents. And during that time, in the 30s, the river would wash out bridges. And so that interrupted my uh, education. <laughs> so I would stay with my grandparents a lot and go to school. Uh, well, let's see, I, I've i had such an interesting life, you want a to go ahead, life. Go ahead and you were tell, Go ahead and tell us about uh, where you first went. You went to McKinley when you first moved into Norman. Okay. Uh, all right. So I went, uh, I moved from the country school. My, my, uh, my country teacher uh, recommended that my mother let me go to a Norman school. So that's when I started staying a lot with my grandparents mm -hmm. and I went to McKinley. Well, having come from a, a country school with all the grades in one room, uh, I didn't read well and my reading was not very well. And so uh, that bothered me and it bothered the teacher. And so she recommended to Mrs. Uh, my mother that she let me go to a Mrs. Ballard for uh, reading lessons before I would go to school of a morning. So I would go to Mrs. Ballard and you would think that she would put a school book in front of me to read, but she didn't. She put the newspaper in front of me to read and so we would read the front page of the newspaper. And so to this day, I read two newspapers every morning and when I'm eating my breakfast because of loving to read the newspaper, not the school books. Ah, interesting. So Newspa and, newspaper has a lot more interesting And besides articles. that, she made an avid reader of me. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord has been kind to me 
given me good eyes at 95 years old to read. At this point, I am reading murder mysteries. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> and I've got a book going at all times. Mm -hmm. My son can vouch for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, you know, I, I have so much to be thankful and grateful for. Now then, go into the church. Okay, before we get to the church, go ahead and tell us about your mother's Choctaw ancestry. Okay. My, my grandmother, Adkins, was Choctaw Indian. And she, uh, oh, was a most wonderful grandma. She told me stories. She told me of the Trail of Tears. She wasn't on the Trail of Tears, but her ancestors uh -huh. were, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, my Indian grandmother was, all my, my, both grandmothers were very important in my life. And my grandmother Chastain, uh, who I stayed with a lot for my education, uh, she was, a big Methodist, mm -hmm. and uh, so when the McFarland Church, I was three years old when the McFarland Church uh, was dedicated, okay. and my bo my brother, uh, Bob Chastain, was born the day of the dedication. Really? December 7th? And, and, no, he is not living. I mean, but de December 7th, he was born that, that on December he, he 7th? He was my 24. brother, yes. Uh -huh. And so Dr. Lowther, the doctor, was hurrying my mother up because he wanted to go to the dedication <laughs> of, the, of the... And Dr. Lowther, who was our doctor, uh, was the grandfather of my uh, later, to me, my husband, Richard Holland. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. Lowther was his grandfather. Oh. When that's something. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he didn't know that he was saving me to go to that, to uh -huh. be his grand, great granddaughter. So, so, so he was a medical doctor and he delivered your brother on that day? Uh, yes. Oh, I see. He did. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was, let's see, that was. Uh, December the seventh, right, nineteen twenty-four. Nineteen. Uh, let's see. Twenty-four. Uh, nineteen twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. What? Well, just that was exactly. that was when he was born. Wow. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, living across the river, I did not go to uh, Sunday school. Uh, and the only time I went to church was when I spent the weekend with my grandmother Chastain over here. And Dr. Norman Evans was the preacher at that time. And Dr. Norman Evans had a son, Norman Evans, who was my age. We were just in grade school. And when I spent the weekend with my grandmother, Norman, this son, would ride his bicycle over to grandmother's, and we sat on the front porch and talked. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. And so... Uh, I was saying, and so where, where did this grandmother live that you were staying with? Well, they lived at 842 Elm Street, Norman. Oh, okay. And they had moved back to Norman from Tuttle, uh, because my my uh, aunt was going to work on her master's degree. Uh, they had just retired to Tuttle, you know, that's where I was born. But they moved back to Norman because she wanted to go to okay. work on her degree. So 842 Elm, that's just right there, just about on campus, isn't it? Right yeah, the but the Mormons uh, my uncle, oh, the Mormon my uncle's, and that house was beautiful. 
uh -huh. absolutely beautiful. And uh, when my grandfather had got, passed away and my grandmother was uh, not going to live there any longer, uh, my uncle sold the house to the, uh, what was it, Richard, the... Latter-day Saints? Yes. Uh-huh. They tore that house down. Well, I was going to say, after the building that's there now, doesn't look like and, it doesn't look like uh, it would have been. Without and, the, and the people in Norman, this was on, in the, on the front page, on the front page of the Norman transcript, that they had torn that house down without uh, without uh, permission. Permit. the city of Norman agreeing to this and they had the picture of the, everything on the front page of the paper and the neighbors were very upset oh, imagine. with this it was like it was a historic building and they did no not it was a beautiful it, it was a beautiful house so about when was this i'd like to go look up the transcript that it's in about when was this have been this that, that, would that have been the late 60s that that happened or the early 70s? Uh, Richard, I, I really can't date that. No, it's they, more but like, it was, more like there was a, It was, it was uh, fairly recent as we're talking here. Yeah. Oh, really? No, it, was, it, it was the what church? The uh, Mormons. The, the Mormon church. Yeah, where yeah. the student center is, there right there at Lindsay and Elm now. Right right the the diagonally house. across from the from Wesley Foundation. Practically overnight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they and, took two uh, houses. Uh, and I went to University right. High School. Oh, wow. So I, and, oh, and at well, that I time, the, did the same thing. Uh, the University on High School on, on, was on you North Oval at <laughs> OU. That, on that parking lot. Oh, geez, and was there were only 300 that. kids. Uh -huh. it, it was from the seventh grade through high school. Uh, later on, it became a full school. But mm -hmm. at that time, and uh, it was just, uh, and so I started going to University High School in the seventh grade there on the campus and uh, I could walk to school from grandmother's house uh -huh. uh, to school. Sure. Mm -hmm. And my friend, Betty Carson, is the one that got me to go and her, her dad was Dean of Engineering, uh -huh. Dean Carson. Uh -huh. And uh, so, isn't there a building name for him? Uh huh. Isn't there a building name for him? Uh huh. Yes, sir. Okay. yes. Right. It was. There is. Yeah. There is. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, I, I really, I really enjoyed my my high school. <laughs> oh yes. Everybody, everybody I've, I've talked to that had association with the University High School really liked it. Uh huh. Oh yes, yes. And, uh, the, uh, and Janet, she graduated from University Did High you? School. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she, yeah. she she graduated from the from the college. Richard that would have been started. about. <laughs> when did you graduate from University? Sixty. High school? Swim. Sixty. Sixty, and it was discontinued about. Uh, about uh, four years later, wasn't it? Uh, right. I, I, think like it that. I think it's last year was about 73. Uh -huh. well, they had one of them that was still going when I was taking my uh, my uh, education courses, honey. Yeah, so but it was, I don't know if it was a high school part of it or at least was still, school, and they been, but there was one still We were back going. in 76. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, play school. But yeah, okay, well, let's go on. I, I, I don't even know that part of it. But uh, I would go to church with Grandma when I would come to town and so I knew you know all the preachers from that were there uh, I have not you won't believe this I have not met the new preacher mm -hmm. because I quit going to church sure and, and they uh, haven't been out to visit you uh -huh. well, and so have to they have about that but, they have been out oh, okay yeah. but at one time they said if the church doors open, uh, unlocked at the Methodist Church, Jean was there. <laughs> and so Jean was always starting trouble. Like, uh -huh. uh, you know, well, you know, we better have a rummage sale. Uh, or we better have a, you know, something for us to work. Mm -hmm. And so we'd have these rummage sales, 
You and, and we Hoyt would McCarty. And we would buy Hoyt McCarty. <laughs> and we would buy each other's stuff. Uh-huh. Well, well, her she's got a kid that's older than mine, so I'll get well, I'll buy her. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, so at the, who was the money going to at this time? Were you and the women's? Oh, uh, well, the society money would go time? to the church. Well, yeah, but which I'm wondering which which organization of the church the were you in the women's society and oh, went through I them, was in there was for a long, 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 long time. Uh, I was uh, okay. Let me see. What was? Her name, uh, I was the secretary of the WCS. Okay. Well, Hoyt was president for a long time, I know. Uh, who was it? Hoyt McCarty was president. McCarty. Uh, that's I was, who she was thinking. That's right. Okay. I McCarty. was her secretary. Okay. Uh, we, they the conspired two, together. Yeah, oh, yes. The two of us. Uh, <laughs> they were. Uh, yeah. And so we were, uh, uh, she was the president and I was the secretary for mm -hmm. A long, long time. I see. Uh -huh. That was while it was WSCS, Women's Society of Christian Service. Right. Okay. That's right. And so I do have some old, uh, some old uh, things. Oh, really? I had some. Uh, uh huh. Uh. Some of your yeah, some of the old uh, yearbooks, you oh, know. Yes. And uh, from 1964, 65. And and then 63, 64. Joyce, what's her name? Uh, wrote this. Oh, Mary, Mary Joyce Rogers. Yes, yeah. she did that for the in 1999 for the 75th anniversary. Uh huh. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, I want to make a list of these so I can check them and see if we need to copy any of your information to see. Okay, uh, you want to take some of these? Actually, yeah, I mean, if you take them and copy them and bring them back to you, if you, you give them, you'll, you'll them, back them back to me, yes. Because sure. mm -hmm. so, I need to check these against what we have and see if we need it to extend yeah, our. And the here's yearbook, the yearbooks and the. Uh, yeah, no, we, we have we have this, have so we don't need. Yeah, you I mean, do have we, that one outright, and we have this. We also have that other directory. We have all the directors. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, we I have that. So. Yes, have what one? is that one right there? The chair. Yeah, we have all those. This one. What is that? that Women's Society of Christian one. Service, 65-66. I'll have to, Earlene Smith, oh my. No, we don't have that one. So, uh, let me take look at that one along with the other and see what we, see if we need to take something from it. You need uh, We have all of those. Yeah. We have all, we have all of those. There. Yes. Okay. That's wonderful. Well, if you knew Hoyt McCarty that well, you probably also knew Jean Powell real well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Jean Powell. Uh, you know, she made us have, uh, and Dick was always, my husband was always, Jean was always called, Dick, uh, would you come over here with a pickup and road so-and-so? <laughs> He'd always bring the pickup over there, and so Gene and Dick really—they <laughs> really got along good. Uh huh. And uh, so when let's see, was it our fiftieth wedding anniversary, mm -hmm. and and Dick was sick, mm -hmm. and she made us have a uh, a party anniversary in the in the uh, basement down in the basement in Meyer Hall. My Mayor Hall, mm -hmm. she made us have a and and Dick was not able to walk, but she got a chair and she fixed up the chair, and everybody came by and uh, kissed Dick and uh -huh. loved him. You know, it, so she when, made when us do that? that. I can see that she could do that. Yeah, <laughs> she, <laughs> she was pretty good at getting done she, what she wanted done. She did. She made us do that. And, and, when, and when was that? What year was their fiftieth anniversary? What well, what year your, was your that? That's it. If I was met, if we were married in '39, when well, when would that? '89. '89. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Dad was already sick. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Dick, yeah, he was yeah, already he was, sick. That sounds about right. He was already sick. Really sick. Yeah. See. And, and when did your husband he'd, die? He'd had a, a, a stroke, part, you know, part uh -huh. stroke. Did he die in '89 also? 
I think he did. So he died in 89. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1989, yeah. Wow. Shortly after that. turned out to be lucky that you're, you're, you're I bet you are pleased that she made you have that party. She made us have that party. And I bet you're happy, happy oh, she did. Oh, yes. Wonderful mm -hmm. memories. And, and it was a big party. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there were a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, okay, uh, let's see. Um, Tuffy McCall's wife. Oh, yeah. Nancy. 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 Well, she she fixed the food and uh -huh. had the tables all beautiful, you know. And uh, no, they really fixed it up. Yeah. They, they really, uh, really honored Dick. Uh huh. Yeah. And he needed to be honored sure. because well, that's I mean, wonderful he, that you got to do that. He did a lot of work. Well, he was a secretary of the church for mm -hmm. a long, long time. James and, and, was. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Harold Hunicky oh, yes. took over from Dick. Uh -huh. And uh, okay, so your he husband was secretary of the church. Treasurer. Mm -hmm. You mean the treasurer? Treasurer, treasurer, the treasurer. of money. He, he yes, he a, did. No, he, was uh -huh. a, he was a CPA uh -huh. kind of person. Uh, I see. Uh -huh. Yeah, he handled the money, and uh, so therefore, Dick and I never sat together uh, at church. Uh huh. He was never busy. He was too busy, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, he was either an usher, or he was collecting the money. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but and he belonged to the uh, a, a, a men's, and they tried to break that up. Prayer breakfast. Uh, the Wednesday men's, morning prayer breakfast. Men's uh, Wednesday prayer breakfast. Wednesday morning Wednesday prayer breakfast. School. School. It, it was it's still a, going. A men's brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gotten really big now. Well, really, it, it, actually, it was for a while, and it's kind of shrunk again. It, He's what, still going to it. Are we talking about the prayer breakfast? The prayer breakfast. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, it was real little. Bill Haynes, you remember Bill Haynes? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Bill Haynes uh, started that. I mean, yeah. started a Sunday, uh, yeah. a little group. Yeah. And uh, now, Dick and I uh, were great friends of Bill Haynes, and his wife Babs, mm -hmm. and we fished with them in Canada. We had a, we built a cabin, <coughs> three couples, mm -hmm. bought an island in Lake of the Woods, in Canada. The Hollands, the Haynes's, and the McCall's. Uh, McCall's. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and. Uh, they bought bought a little island, two acres, and they went up there. There were eight guys, my son, uh, two preachers. Uh, let's see, Bill and uh, Callclaser. Jim Callclaser. Huh? Jim yeah. Callclaser. He was the youth director. He was the youth director. Callclaser, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, was, there Hunt. were the eight guys that went who, up who there. Who else did you mention? Orville Hunt. Orville. He was not. Uh, he was not with McFarland, but he was the only builder we had. And without him, or there would still that would be never about nine place. Methodists up there in Lake of the Woods that nobody knows where they went. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Orville Hunt was Hunt, said, an, okay. ex, uh, an extreme fundamentalist kind of guy who would have you on your knees uh -huh. at the drop of a hat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Had he not been there, none of this would cabin would have been built, none of this would uh -huh. have worked. We were expecting a bunch of lumber with little numbers on them and yeah. all cut out. <laughs> <laughs> like Lincoln did it yeah. when you oh, opened up uh -huh. the Oh, yeah. Okay, what we found was a huge pile of raw lumber sitting on the ground next to a barge with a Canuck standing next to it, ready for it to be unloaded. Mm -hmm. And we had to ship that five miles out over Lake of the Woods to get it to the island twice. Mm. And had no idea what we were doing once we got it. <laughs> then Orville arrived and saved our lives. Oh, okay. basically. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe, do we still have enough light to be? Are you getting a good picture of Gene yeah, still? It's a fine picture, honey. It's good, okay. What was that? I was just asking him if we still have enough light for yeah. still getting a good picture of you. And he says, oh, yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you we need, need to turn it? I'm not, I'm not no, sure. We need Richard to right turn now. that light on. Yeah, right now we're still doing fine. It wouldn't okay. hurt probably these other two here, too. Turn on some of the side lights. 
Yeah. As the sun's going down there, it's, uh, yeah. it's, and I, I want to be sure that our pictures are not too dark. This is kind of an unusual interview. You never have to do around. any yeah. editing, do you? <laughs> That's fine. Okay, let's see. You have told us about your, your participation in the women's activities. Uh, did you ever heard it, hold any of the church offices yourself? You mentioned your husband, of course, was uh, had an office all the time. The did, you, did you hold any of the offices, or did they even have all the committees and commissions? Uh, I tell you, okay, when, when Dick was in, uh, this is one of my, my favorite things, uh, when Dick was in his Sunday school class, would not go to a Sunday school class with me, right. you know, couples. Uh -huh. I went to uh, Dr. Deschner's wife had a Sunday school class uh -huh. of, of, at that time, I was young. Uh -huh. and, and it was called? But I, I went to her Sunday school class, uh -huh. Mrs. Deschner's class. Yeah. Do you remember it, what it was called? Did it have a name? Huh? Did that? it have a name? No, it didn't. Okay. It was just his Deschner's class. Uh -huh. but, and it was, was it couples or was it all women? Well, no, it was just us women. Just women, okay. And it was the most interesting thing. And Dick bought me because she gave us homework to do. Oh, really? And uh, she would take a, a, a reading out of the Bible and she would give uh, us the same reading, but you do it out of a certain Bible, you do it out of a certain Bible, you do it. So Dick bought me three, uh, what kind of Bibles? Interpreter's Bibles? Uh, Annotated? Annotated? Well, I've still got them, and I said I'd give them to the church if they would come get them. Mm -hmm. They're great big books. Hmm. Uh, but now, lately, I mean, they, a, a little, fairly they recently, big. They had what they call some side by side that actually had about four versions of the Bible in one book. And that's not what you're talking about. Is it? Yeah, get, get them one of those. Concordance. Annotated. Concordance Bible. Concordance. Yeah, something like that. Something yeah. Like that. Well, they they, they didn't find a copy. But, but, they but I, I would give my version that I'd get out of my the, the Bible. I was supposed to get it out of uh -huh. a different Bible, and. Uh, there would be different meanings to the uh -huh. same reading, mm -hmm. you know, out of different... Sure. Uh -huh. Mrs. Yeah. Deschner got some brain work going and some little lady minds yes. back in a time when uh -huh. little ladies... But they didn't you always minds. think like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And well, Dr. Deschner, did you ever know Dr. Deschner? No, he was gone by the time we got back. Well, you know, he had a... He was he, gone. He had an accent. Uh -huh. accent. He was what? And one of the he was gone. smartest okay. men that ever... Mm -hmm. lived. He really was. Well, so was his wife. Uh -huh. They were just so above me that <laughs> mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it, you know. But they accepted me. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, it, well, he, well, each one of the, uh, I, I knew, uh, from then on, I knew, you know, the preachers that were there. I, see. Uh -huh. I knew him uh -huh. too. And at my size and my age, and he started to preach. He was God. Yeah, I think so. Sure. You talking about George? No, I'm talking about Dr. Deschner. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you mentioned George, he, George Martin. George Martin. Oh, yeah. The voice of George God. He's another one who was. Oh, George yeah, when the little kids, when they ask the little kids, you know, about God, I mean, about the preach, and, and he thought, uh, what was his name? Uh, George Martin. George Martin. Mm -hmm. George Martin was God mm -hmm. because his <laughs> voice, oh, you yes. know, it's that Boom. preacherly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, I know and, what you mean. And uh, okay, and uh, Cal Brandon. Yes. I tell you, I, I love that man. Uh, he came by uh, and uh, visited before he left. Oh, and. Before they moved, that's and, something. Uh, that's something Cal would do. Yeah, to tell to tell us goodbye, and so I said, uh, Brandon, Cal, did I ever take you down my historical hall? And he said, No, Jean, you never did. And I said, Well, would you like to go down my historical hall? 
He said, well, I sure would. So I took him down my historical hall, which I've got pictures of uh, all my relatives and stuff, you know. And so he said, you know what? This is wonderful. He said, when we get moved to that little town that they were moving to, he said, you know what? The first thing I do, I'm going to have me a historical hall. I've got lots of pictures, and I'm mm -hmm. just going to have me a historical hall. Wonderful. Uh -huh. <laughs> do we get to look at your historical hall before we leave? Of course you do. Course Wonderful. You Would you like to see one? Well, let's, let's don't go yet. Let's, uh, let's okay. do that when we finish. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, want to yeah, 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 I get this right here, honey. Yeah, after we, after we look at that. Well, let's see here. I have another question for you. Now, you you and your husband were very active. Were the children, it sounds like they were also pretty active. Uh, they were so for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, they were for, I think we kind of pushed it on them. And uh, uh, they, they went to Sunday school for a long while. No, well, I didn't get a comic book. Huh? But I wouldn't get a comic book if I didn't go. <laughs> well, now, more, let's see, let me get, get you placed. You were teenagers about, when would you have been a teenager? Oh, well, that was uh, that was the early, yeah, early 60s. Early 60s. 60s. Mm -hmm. And so you were also in the 60s, just a few years behind? Uh, yeah, I went Ahead. to grade school was mainly Ahead. in the 50s. Okay. We're about four years apart, so we're, we, we skip around a little bit. Mm -hmm. but, okay, yeah. you might be interested in this. Okay, these two... Uh, when Dick and the kids went to Sunday school, I, I did not go to Sunday school at, at that time when they were little. And uh, so they would go and they'd go to their own classes. Well, it was time for Jack to go. Jack was, he was two years old or three. He's two years old. And so uh, these two never wanted their parents uh, to go with them. They wanted to go to their own sure. own Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So here comes little Jack. So at two years old, no, he would not stay in there without Mama. So Mama had to stay in the two-year-old group. <laughs> so Mama was a member of the two-year-old Sunday school class. So Jack, uh, he would, you know, he wouldn't give Mama up. And so uh, Jack graduated, but Mama didn't. <laughs> Ma Mama had to stay in the two-year-old class, and she was the secretary of the two-year-old class. <laughs> but that's how they separated. Oh yes. Well, I thought that was the cutest thing. But Mama didn't graduate. <laughs> so, anyway, well. Let's see, we just, in uh, Irene Haug and uh, oh, a lot of those girls, we just, and uh, we, we, you know, we'd change circles. Oh, yes. In those days, the circles rotated whether it, they wanted to or yeah, not. Yeah, you, you know, when I, I think I was a member of thir uh, Circle 13 for a long time. Uh-huh. And, uh, we and the just, circles had numbers at that time, right? Yeah, we had, names. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but no, I had a lot of fun. I had, I had fun. <laughs> yes. Well, I was a very troubled teenager. Well, that's yeah. what what you were telling me. Yeah. Uh, 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 something and about I yourself. I got into trouble, and one of the few people that understood where I was coming from was Poe Williams. Joe, if he's going to tell this story, why don't you and, uh, turn it back? There you go, uh, you're on. Go ahead and tell us about Paul your, Williams, Williams. wanted to hear why I had done what I'd done, and he was interested. And at the end of it all, he said, and it, and it really surprised me, he said, I, I kind of agree with some of the things that you're saying right here. And then he opened a cupboard of books, and in there were books about the dangers of fundamentalism to the mainstream Methodist Church. And he said, well, some of the things that you were talking about are actually happening. 
beer in the church and I'm trying to keep it from happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he, uh, he understood where I was coming from, which really shocked me. But, oh yeah, that, that a minister in his position actually could yes. understand what you were, well, and you were about 16, oh, 17? Pretty close around in there, 16 possibly. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Did you, was, okay, was he around much longer while you were in the church? Uh, Not very much. Now, I remember that my dad didn't like it very much, and that some of the, uh, there were some fundamentalist people, you know, in, oh, yes. Uh, you know, and, and my father was one of them, and, mm -hmm. which, you know, didn't, didn't help my situation. <laughs> Your father, if he was a fundamentalist, yeah. he probably wondered where he got you, huh? <laughs> exactly. Exactly right. So, you got a pair but, of us. <laughs> we all survived it, and uh -huh. we do mm -hmm. have fond memories of McFarland. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, oh, we love our daddy. Of yes. Course. And we love dad, of course. Well, now, was Preston Tremble also, were you involved with him at all? What was that? Preston Tremble. Were you all in the... Oh, Preston Tremble's one of my favorite people. Yes, <laughs> Preston. Uh, but he, he was one of the... You realize he's still running the prayer breakfast? Uh, you know, uh, I have seen him. You know, because I went went to uh, our next door neighbor's funeral yeah. over there, yeah. and he had a, a, a boy in the Air Force Academy who was just graduating yeah. from the Air Force Academy, and I had uh, Mr. Price's hat yeah. from the 53rd Bomb Group, uh -huh. and uh, so I took that white hat to the boy and presented it to him just before the, the service was being held. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, uh, Garland Price was one of my good friends yes. in his later years. And, uh, so and he was a big member of the... Uh, I'll have to tell you a story if we get through this about Garland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one thing I was wondering about uh, about Preston uh, uh, you know, was uh, you know, he was heavily involved in the prayer breakfast at the very beginning, too. Oh, yes, at the very beginning. Yeah. And, is Preston still around? And I'm yes. really he's glad still, to hear that he's he still is, there. Yeah. He is yeah. still running the prayer breakfast. He Preston is? Fimble. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. So let's see. Let's get in, getting back to um, uh, maybe even venture away from the for the church a little bit, because I have said that uh, if this if they use this at the History Center, which I'm not sure if they are still doing or not, uh, I'd like some information just on the town itself. Yeah, what now? Oh, on the, the town. On Norman itself. Yeah. On Norman. Tell, tell me about, uh, for instance, tell me about going shopping in Norman. Tell her about Norman. Okay. Well, <laughs> I could tell. You didn't expect that question. Okay. Uh, just think about Main Street, or is that, was that where All you right. shopped? Uh, uh, I told you that in my... Uh, Indian grand, my in, Indian grandmother and her husband were over across the river right. during Indian territory before Norman was even started. Uh -huh. And so uh, my grandfather, Adkins, who was no Indian, but oh, he had to join the Indian tribe in order, in to, order to marry her. And, and they're the Adkins of Adkins Hill Road. Right, there. that's okay. right, that's right. And so uh, this was just prairie mm -hmm. over here. Sure. And so they rented, the Indian, the Adkins boys, rented this land over here to, ra to graze their cattle. Mm -hmm. And so when they started uh, uh, okay, so they started the railroad, and Abner Norman came through here, and he ate, he was a, a, uh, surveyor. Surveyor. surveyor, uh, he ate with the, with the, uh, Adkins, oh. the Indians, mm -hmm. he ate with them, and they were great friends. And uh, so the Atkins boys got smart, and they thought, well, the railroad is coming through here, and so let's build 
uh, uh, and they built a stone building. And uh, it was a two-story stone building out of stone. And we will use it like a hotel for the men that work on the railroad. Mm -hmm. That's what they used it for. And now, which side of the river was that on? That was on this side of the river. On the north side? Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, okay, they built this stone building and uh, they used it as a hotel first. And so uh, then people started coming in, you know, to start this town here. And, uh, and they had a main street. And my great grandfather, Adkins, was known for, he filled up the hog walls on Main Street. Mm -hmm. The hogs had been on Main Street mm -hmm. and dug the uh -huh. And that was what he was known for. Okay. He, he filled, filled, he filled, he filled those, house. and there was a, a bar on each corner, you know. It was, mm -hmm. And this was about when? Well, this was about. It wasn't a state yet. Okay, that was so early 1900s. It was probably yeah. before 1889. Uh, probably, probably, before, late, before pro probably late 1800s. Okay. okay. And uh, so, okay, so then it, it's progressing somewhat as, uh, into a town. And uh, my grandfather, uh, Adkins, was upstairs. And uh, some of the other guy, uh, the big guys were there. And they said, you know, we, we need to have a university here. And uh, yeah, they did. So, well, where would we have it? We don't have a place to have it. Well, uh, my grandfather said, well, we could have this room over here. Uh, you know, they can start it in this room. And uh, so, and, and he'd let him have it for free. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Wasn't that big of him? And uh, so, uh, my grandfather hired the first enrollee uh, of the University of Oklahoma, Marion Donahue, uh, to, he hired him as a teacher to teach his little kids. My mother was one of the little kids. Now I have pictures of these, Now I don't know if I've got them on the wall or not, but I've, I've yeah, got them in books, you know. Very and uh, uh, he, he taught, uh, uh, not only did he teach my grandpa Adkins, his little kids, he taught the other little kids too, you know, the other little, uh, Adkins kids. So, anyway, I've got some stuff on the, the wall in Wonderful. there. Wonderful. Uh huh. So that was there. And and what's the first thing you remember about about Norman? Well, let's see. Uh, you were around. I, I remember. Okay, my mother and daddy. After uh, they live, they. They lived in Tuttle just a, sh a short while. Another, grandma and Grandpa were still living there, and I was born there. And then uh, they rented a house on Main Street here in Norman, mm -hmm. and that's where I was born. Okay. Now then, I was famous at this time. <laughs> I was three years old. And uh, this is how I became famous. Uh, I was eating an apple, sucked the apple uh, peel into my lungs, and had what Janet has, an oh. abscess in my lungs. So, oh. Well, of course, this is back when they don't have any kind of medicine to sure. take care of that. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, my Grand, uh, so my doctor, Lowther, <laughs> uh, he said, 
Well, and I was three, as I say, I was three years old, and they'd rented, my mom and daddy had rented this house on Main Street. And he said, Dr. Lowther said, well, she's going to die if uh, we can't get, and he says, I am not a surgeon. And if we don't get a surgeon in here to operate on her, she's going to die. Well, my grandma being a big Methodist, uh, they started praying for me at, at the church. And people would come by the house all the time. And so uh, Dr. Lowther got Dr. Stout in Oklahoma City and his nurse to come down here. Now, I can remember parts of this. Uh -huh. I can remember somebody was holding me at the door. I was trying to cry. I couldn't cry. I couldn't breathe. And so, uh, uh, this doctor, Stout, and his nurse came walking up the sidewalk and they operated on me and on the kitchen table. Ooh. They did to me then what they've done to her now. She's got that tube in her, you know. Mm -hmm. This is uh, my liver, not my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I had a tube in my back for six weeks. They had a nurse living with us for six weeks to wow. take care of that. Uh -huh. And the, the people at the church were praying for me, and they would come by and see me. And the doctor, and Dr. Lowther, uh, he went to a football game at um, um, OSU, and he brought me a, an umbrella. That was the best gift. Mm -hmm. I ever had in my life. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it, it was just, uh, you know, and and these ladies would come by and uh, were, and, and my mother was pregnant with my brother. And and, she, and during that period, uh -huh. my, my brother was born uh -huh. and uh, on the night of the dedication of the church. I see. Oh. So. <laughs> wow. Oh, what wonderful stories. I mean, I'm just realizing that you actually uh, were alive and, and probably old enough to remember things pretty well. Did you ever actually have remember uh, the McFarlands? It, Robert it, it, and it, Ida McFarland. What? Remember the Robert and Ida McFarland? Do you remember them ever coming to the church any time that you uh, okay. would have been aware of it? No, I do not remember them, but my grandfather, my great-grandfather, Jephtha Chastain, was a friend of his, and he's the one that helped that McFarland when they lost their little boy. Yes. Uh, to get this church, uh, this uh you know, a uh, uh, place for the church, and they wanted it where it faced the university, and to make a big uh, and and I, and I don't remember all the stories, but there's some really great stories about how because Mr. McFarland didn't have any money there for a while of how he got that money, and right. I can't remember how that was. He got, got it from oil. How, can you remember? He, he got it from the oil. oil. It's, it's in the book. He it's what? It's oil. He, it's oil. And I, oil. I think there, there was a while when he was out of the oil business, he sold it, and, it was and then kind of came back into it. Okay. The the company well, I'd, for, I'd forgotten that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I, uh, um, so, well, I think probably we're, uh, I want to look at your your Choctaw things. Uh, okay. Tell us about being, what did you say you were a, what did they call it? An elder. An uh, elder. An elder of the Choctaw. Choctaw. We're have Joe pan around and, and tell us about the, the blanket. Well, uh, you know, I, I uh, didn't know that they even remembered me, that I was part Indian. You know, I was always, I want to say this, 
in grade school, and I, one time in grade school, I came home and told my mama. I was so upset, and I said, oh, mama, little so-and-so couldn't hold up her hand. She wasn't any Indian. Oh. <laughs> I felt so sorry for her. Well, everybody else was. Because I tell you, I was always reared, or I always felt I was most proud of my Indian blood. And and I was sorry that I looked like the Chastains, who weren't any Indian. I wanted to look like the Indians. Uh -huh. Like my, 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 my mama. My mama looked pretty much like, but when you're in the historical hall, you'll see. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, and then, at, so and what so, was the year when, when okay. they made you a, so an elder? So, the, the chief, chief, uh, they remember I'm um, Indian. I, I get a newspaper from the uh, Choctaws all the time. Okay. So, they know, I mean, I'm registered. Uh-huh. And, uh, they know that I'm an Indian. <laughs> And so they sent, and this is what the, the chief sent me. Uh, what's he? I, don't well, I know, think he was, just, he was just trying to get out of the way yeah. so he could take oh, a picture okay. there. Yeah. Yes. And so that's that's what uh, they sent me. Okay. And, uh, it, and told me I was an elder. And this this is the paperwork that goes with it. Are you able to get that close enough to oh, read? Oh, that was my yeah, birthday. That's, my birthday from the state, uh, of, Oklahoma. That's from the state, state of, Oklahoma. of Oklahoma. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know if it'll show up or not. This this doesn't work very well for this thing. Go ahead and tell them what it is. This is a letter from the state of Oklahoma about your birthday. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And that was what your this 90th? year. Ninety-fifth. So this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Then Janet had it framed. Mm-hmm. Uh, about a frame and put it in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And okay, and uh, this paper you gave me earlier. That, that one again may not show yeah. up. Yeah. But anyway, okay, I won't try to put it on the camera. Well, let me let me try and see. Here. Well, I, I'm. Stuck it in the envelope here, and I can't get my hand over it easy. I'll get that back out later. Did anybody tell you that I'm a storyteller? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I can tell that whether they told me or not. <laughs> you are a wonderful storyteller. Well, That's why I'm just fascinated. We have. Yeah, let's don't worry about taking the pictures. We of have it. a uh, a relative down in uh, Seymour, Texas, and she was a school teacher, and she said. You want Okay, go ahead. She said, uh, Jean is a storyteller of the Atkins family, uh, and uh, yeah. of the family, and I have all, and they said, even when I was a little child, and, and nobody could understand a word I said, I was telling stories, and my grandma, I'd go, I'd go over to my grandma's house, and I would just be you know, jabbering, you know, and, and I used expression, and grandma would answer, uh-huh, yes. <laughs> okay, and, and uh, one more question. How, how well is any of this preserved for your great-grandchildren and their great-grandchildren on down the way? Well, I've got a a box of historical stuff. I've got my hall, and uh, a young couple spent the uh, he, uh, the night with us one time, uh, of friends of ours. And this the young man came down the hall and he said, "I believe this is the most interesting house I've ever been in." He I said, "Gene." Your life is on the wall, isn't it? And I said, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And wherever then there's Choctaw oral history. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the wherever story. there's a little bit of wall, do the I hang something on it. Uh, oh. Do the Choctaws have any of this? Oh, yes. Okay. Each of the families, you know, there was no TV uh -huh. uh, back in those days. And uh, the, the family would sit around in a circle and just, just tell stories. The, um, and that's how history was passed uh, down. The, I'm trying tribal. to think what it is. The, the museum, the Western 
Western History Collection would probably uh, also the Western History Collection would probably also be interested in some yes. of it. Yes, mm -hmm. they're familiar with it. So, well, yeah. I tell you what, let's uh, if, unless you have some of, something else you just really really need to tell us right now, let's let him shut the camera down and we'll go to the hallway and let him turn it on again and look at your things in the hallway. Okay. Okay. You're the first enrollee at the university. Okay. And this is the C. D. Adkins. He was the brother that that Rented he was building. really smart. Okay, the Adkins uh, built that house out across the river. And my grandpa Adkins, he got in with Mister uh, Starzer, was it that had the Buicks? So they all came over. Is that house, that house still standing? No, it burned. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this is the, this this is is the that house. This is the that Mary and Donahue are talking And this is Mary and Donahue. This is an aunt of mine, and that's an uncle. And these are all cousins, and my mom, oh. my mama's right there. Uh-huh. Let me get all the way. And I this want him is, to get around here. This is another mama. Time. They built this house across the river. And this is another mama out in the yard. And now this is my grandma. This is her. That's the Indian. That's grandma's. Uh -huh. She was, and her, and her uh, father, he, he was in the historical uh, building in Oklahoma City. And what was he, Richard? Who was that? Her father? Uh huh. Her father was the tribal attorney of the Choctaw Nation of the time. And her yeah. Name was, and this is my what was her name? this is my grandpa Adkins. Sarah Jane McKinney. McKinney. <laughs> Sarah Jane McKinney Adkins. Uh huh. This is C D Adkins. Okay, and we told you the house that that my grandma and grandpa Chastain had at, at eight forty two Elm. Oh yes. That they tore down. Okay. Well, this one of the uh, uh, oh. art students did that. Oh, wonderful! Uh huh. Of that house, and this is my grandma and grandpa uh, Chastain on their wedding. And this is my grandma Chastain. And there they are, as I remember. Yeah, them. and this is my great grandma. And my grandma, and uh, let's see, it, this was my daddy. These are all wow, brothers and sisters mm. and brother. <laughs> it's all kind. Wow. Yeah. And this is the house that Grandpa Chastain, the first house, and it was over there close to. Uh, uh, you know, the old, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so cool. uh, anyway, the, the Grandpa Chastain built that little house, and that's my daddy and his little brother. And this is Grandpa and Grandma Chastain mm. not many years ago. They're both gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Dr. Lowther that you've heard okay, me speak yes. of. Mm -hmm. And this is his wife, Mama. And this is their house. I think it was on the corner of Crawford and something. Mm -hmm. And this is Dr. Lowther. He loved cars. Oh, yes. And that's him in his cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this is the Hollands. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Holland House is still up there. Okay. On on uh, Peters, North Peters, Peters. Peters. Uh -huh. uh, Caddy Corner to cross from uh, that school, you know, up there. Okay. And uh, it's still there. Uh huh. Uh, okay. This is Dick's dad. Oscar. And this, he was a preacher. Uh, a traveling preacher. Oh, yes. Circuit. Circuit rider. A circuit, yeah. This is his wife. And that's Dick's dad. 
the rest of these are their kids. Blanche and Mildred. And I know you don't want to know who they are. Taught in Northwest <laughs> class in the high school. Which one's that? Blanche and, Blanche, yeah, Blanche, Blanche, and Blanche, Blanche and Mildred. Yeah, Blanche and Mildred. This is Blanche. They lived in that house. In Mildred. Oh, in that, in that house there? And they grew up to be teachers of it. Northwest Claston. Okay. This yes. 1923. Okay. Lions Club. Let's. That's Ob Holland right there. Papa. Yeah. Okay. Down here's the doctor. Papa. That's yeah, my that's Papa. Doc Doctor Lowther. Lowther. <laughs> I knew my Papa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is Janet like, was a baby when mm -hmm. Doctor Lowther died, and and Janet. Uh, waited on him, you know, and he'd say, "Oh, your papa's sick. You go out. Would you go out?" And Janet was just about that tall. Would you go outside and get papa his paper? <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I was thinking, when, uh, a picture like that, then mm -hmm. where you got a whole bunch of them like that. The ones that you know just jump out at yeah, you. That's don't you? papa. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And let's oh, see. We have this other side. This now, is on my the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Is that the cutest thing you ever saw? That's me. Richard Lowther. Yeah, that that's my, was Dick. Named after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, th this. That's the wild bunch. <laughs> yeah, that that's me, and that's my two little cousins. Ah. And uh, that oh, that's my mama, and, and she she was the Indian. Uh huh. And. Uh, and there's my daddy. Wedding, is that what? Ornery baby. No, this I think was just a family <laughs> gathering. And mm -hmm. that was my brother and his family. And that's that's me when I was oh, young. Beautiful. And uh, and that's Elvis Presley. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. And Dick. Let's see. Uh, Somebody was in the service here. Yeah, that was Dick. Yeah. That's there's their dad. Brothers. My husband. Uh -huh. Okay. Brothers. Yeah. And, and his brother Bob. Okay. Yeah, and that's his brother Bob up there. Okay. And this they got World together in England. That they're in England up there. Uh huh. The, they probably didn't remember about uh -huh. that. But mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah, he's overseas and there. That's the two guys and grandmother Holland, the okay. source of a lot of the furniture around this place. Uh -huh. huh? I, I have some sales. pictures of me in almost that same location mm -hmm. because my aunt and, and grandmother lived just right across the street from that. Is that right? right? Uh -huh. This is my grandmother and some of her. Yeah, this people. is my yeah. grandma. I mean, this is my mama. And Aunt Lena. Uh -huh. Aunt Lena. They look like she said stars. that was the last time that she ever got down on her knees. To <laughs> <me>. <laughs> oh, and you see that, uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, truck up there. Oh, yes. The Daddy. Truck made a bed in that truck. We went to California. Oh my goodness. We went to Oregon <laughs> and we kids uh, on top, you know, had a bed just up there. Almost and then we had air. underneath <laughs> it, we had, he had a, a tent oh and the, all the cooking stuff oh. under there. We, we camped out. And crossed the mountains and the desert. Yes, and, yes. Oh. And what part of California did you go to? Huh? What part of California did you go to? Uh, well, I don't know. We all went all the way up the coast. Yosemite, maybe? Oh, wow. This was a long time ago. Oh, wow. And now we this... Fed bears. It's a okay. Got this is... Hazel we called her aunt. Course. She was a cousin of Mama and, and uh, P.K. Now, they lived in Egypt a long time. Mm -hmm. He was with the... Uh, Foreign Service of the Foreign Agricultural Service Department. Of, you know, and... Uh, so, went over here, let them get down here. They Richard. were torpedoed on the, the Hoover. Yeah, let's let them get down there. here just so they can see. And this was uh, my fan. And this is Oscar, Oscar and Nadine, Dick's mom and daddy. That's me, my little boy, Jack. That's Richard right there. There's Janet. And this is Blanche, Blanche and Mildred we've Mildred. told you about. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's mom and daddy, and that was another mom and papa, and there's grandma and grandpa with, yeah. So, anyway, this is my historical. Oh, this pop. is absolutely. I feel like we're just barely <laughs> tapping the 
the surface, but this is oh, absolutely there's stories wonderful. To tell. Oh, yes. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, stories to tell. <laughs> that was Dick. Uh -huh. Yeah, my husband. He was in the Army? Yeah. Uh -huh. He was Oops. a forward ar artillery observer. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, ch uh, chasing Patton around. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, um, yeah, was sent to England with his feet practically frozen off. Yeah, go ahead. I